The Short Story Digest was published from 1991 to 1992. There were eight issues published, all containing short stories purchased from up-and-coming writers. The stories were from the genre of mystery, horror, science fiction, and more. No sex in any of the digest, but there were some violence and adult language. Each story will vary from a couple of pages to five or six pages. Each issue had only two to three hundred copies printed, so there were not many copies around. This complete set of short story digest books have been scanned and saved in PDF and EPUB format. You will receive a CD with a scanned copy of all eight issues. The PDF file is readable on computers using Adobe Reader. A link to a free download of Adobe Reader is on this CD. The EPUB can be read on the Nook readers from Barnes & Noble. The Real Santa Claus by Dan C. Reinert. He went through it every year around Christmas time, acting as though he had just been visited by the grim ghost of Christmas future. But one year, perhaps fortunately, he went too far. The world is corrupt, he said as I entered his high-tech office. In the left corner behind his desk, twin computers flashed sales updates on their screens to help the owner and president of Kringle Enterprises, a toy company which my boss had started in 1974, five years before I began working for him, to keep track of his business earnings and losses. The television atop his desk allowed him to view any part of the sizable store at the press of a button on the keyboard beneath it. A computer in the right corner of the room allowed Kringle to view and to examine new products before they were put out on the shelves. Nine years before, the company had begun its growth to become one of the largest toy manufacturers in the world. Nine years before, its owner started playing Santa Claus in one of, the, of his several stores and began the process of believing the world was corrupt. Oh, not this again, I sighed. I sat down in a blue chair, which promptly teleported me from its spot next to the door to an area across from Kringle's white metallic desk. He got up out of his chair and looked out the large window behind his desk. Everybody's corrupt these days. Nicholas, you know things aren't that bad. He turned from the window to look at me. Things aren't that bad? How can you say that? There's the threat of nuclear annihilation. There's water pollution, solid pollution, air pollution. And let's not forget about global warming. We have to face it, Joe. Our world's getting to be nothing more than a big garbage dump. He paused for a moment and looked outside at the falling snow. He tugged gently at his snow-white beard. I knew what was coming next. This is to be continued in the Short Story Digest, Issue 1. The Law by Ellen Gordman The law went on the books when Charlie was five years old. Nobody knew then that he would be one of its victims, but it wouldn't have been hard to guess his fate. Some would say he just had bad genes. After all, he came from a long line of petty thieves and criminals. His criminal tendencies didn't show up till he was 10 or 11. He began by stealing cigarettes, food, cheap trinkets. Then he graduated to bigger crimes. Knocking off convenience and liquor stores was his favorite. He'd never been caught. The different ski mask helped, and he was careful to always work alone. The law was passed in 1999, or maybe it was 2000. Charlie Wood could never remember, but he did remember how the president described the law when he signed the bill on television. The president said, This law was enacted because our current system just doesn't work. Just keeping men and women locked up in this country, I believe that the biblical words, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, would be the best deterrent we have against our crimes. Charlie didn't understand some of the words, but he knew that if he kept up his criminal ways, he might run into the trouble with the law, which turned out to be true. So here he was in a tiny room waiting for a sentence to be carried out. With shaking hands, Charlie lifted the cup to his mouth. The coffee was medium warm, but he was too listless to reach for the pot. Must have been a tranquilizer they gave him to take the edge off. Still a dull terror covered his body and drilled into his brain. It's worse this time, one of the prisoners said during the exercise period a few weeks ago. The guy in the liquor store didn't know what was going down. You do. 
Charlie tried to keep his mind off what was going to happen, but it was hard. He had gone through it yesterday, sort of a dress rehearsal, the guard had said was it with a chuckle. To be continued in issue number five. Photo finished by Earl Johnson. I should have known how Phil would react. No, he exclaimed. Don't tell Amy anything. You'd be meddling. But Phil, I interrupted. Amy is my best friend, and I don't want her to be a typical wife who is the last person to find out her husband is. How do you know what her husband is doing? Well, we saw him, didn't we? At that little cafe near the bridge. He was sitting so close to that young girl, they could have used just one seat. She might be a friend, Phil insisted, or maybe somebody who works with him at the engineering office. How can you go jumping to conclusions that Martin is stepping out on Amy? Don't be so naive, I said with sarcasm. Ben don't cuddle up to so-called friends unless there's some chemistry working. I want to tell Amy so she can, well, deal with it, so as not to drive Martin into her arms, Phil snorted. Amy probably will resent you even mentioning it. And she's an adult. She's got a friend at the police station who could do some investigating, and they could leave you out of it. I say you're jeopardizing your friendship with Amy. If you tell her we saw Martin and that girl, I said, I don't know. I managed. But it seems to me that Amy would like to know. Maybe she could to be continued in issue number eight. I read you a little bit of a couple of the stories. These stories and all eight issues are available on a CD in PDF format and EPUB format for your Nook Reader in my eBay store. I'll leave you a link to it in the description below.